All right, it's that time of the week. Time for some more real estate talk. I'm Jordan Conrad, and today I'm going to be uh, addressing a controversial topic, uh, whether or not we're going to have a housing crash in 2021. So if you're new to the channel, um, please subscribe. Uh, if you would also hit the like button, um, that helps out with the YouTube algorithm and uh, helps the channel. So uh, we'll get right into it here. And uh, so lots of people are talking about uh, this notion of a housing crash. So to understand um, you know, where the fear is coming from, uh, we need to take a step back to March of 2020 uh, when the pandemic started. So our real estate market was essentially shut down for two months. You know, we basically couldn't conduct any business. And uh, so that created uh, challenges for the market. So potential sellers uh, held off on listing their home, um, partly out of fear of people with COVID coming through their home. Um, but also, um, you know, there was some barriers with the market being shut down that homes couldn't be listed. Um, so at the same time, um, you know, we had potential buyers that were sitting in their homes and, uh, you know, starting to realize that, hey, you know, there's some things about my home that I don't really like. Um, and, you know, I'd rather have, uh, you know, some more outdoor space or, you know, I'd like to have a home office so that I can work from home. Um, you know, so their needs changed. Um, you know, they spent more time at home uh, realizing things that they might uh, want that are different, uh, you know, in their home. And uh, so, you know, at the same time, the the Federal Reserve um, lowered interest rates um, to try to stimulate the economy. Um, you know, they were buying bonds, um, you know, they still are. And, uh, you know, there was talk about, uh, you know, stimulus, we got some stimulus uh, money back then, uh, more this year. And uh, so it created um, a situation where people had some, uh, you know, people that were still employed, had some extra money, and, um, you know, they could get these low interest rates on homes. And uh, so it created a lot of buyer demand, you know, again, buyers wanting something different, um, but there was nothing to sell them. So what happened as a result, um, we, you know, had the classic, uh, you know, situation that leads to increased prices, we had um, no supply, and we had all this demand. Um, so home prices started rising. And uh, throughout 2020, we uh, saw, uh, you know, unprecedented uh, real estate sales, um, the market was very hot, um, sellers were getting, uh, you know, way more for their house than most would have ever dreamed. And uh, so that continued into this year where, um, you know, housing inventory continues to be a problem. Um, there's just uh, all these buyers searching for homes and there's nothing to sell them. Um, so uh, people started talking, um, you know, and you'll see it on the, the news on, uh, you know, other YouTube channels, uh, people talking about a housing crash or a bubble type situation because, you know, these valuations of homes are getting, you um, you know, a little bit lofty and uh, out of control. Um, so, you know, here's my perspective from being, um, you know, a real estate agent uh, in the market, you know, based on what I'm seeing uh, every day and what I try to keep up with, you know, in the news and, um, you know, with the, you know, housing and stock market, um, you know, the average homeowner has plenty of equity. So, um, you know, they are going to keep making their mortgage payments um, you know, no matter what, they're going to make sure that that mortgage is paid so that they don't run into a situation where, um, you know, they'd have a foreclosure or something like that. Um, at the same time, household savings are at an all time high. Um, and so, you know, this also, you know, comes back to the fact that demand for houses continues to be high. Um, you know, and it's not like people, um, you know, in the last time the real estate market crashed, you know, all these people are getting, um, you know, everyone's buying a house, everyone's buying a second home, um, you know, people can't find what they're looking for. So, you know, there's all this demand, and there's nothing to sell them. And, you know, new construction isn't keeping up. Um, so, 
you know, I think, you know, what's going to happen and what the Federal Reserve uh, Chairman Jerome Powell has been talking about is that uh, the interest rates are going to stay low. Um, they're going to keep stimulating the economy. Um, you know, if anything, lending criteria is getting more strict. Um, so, you know, I think the likelihood of a real estate market crash is very low, um, at least for right now. You know, things can always change, but this is just my opinion. Um, so the question is, what do you do? You know, you're uh, sitting here watching this YouTube video. Um, you know, you may have some concerns about what you should be doing in the market. So home ownership continues to be the best way to build wealth. Um, and it has also been traditionally looked at as a way to hedge inflation. So if, you know, uh, inflation occurs, uh, a safe place to put your money is in real estate because real estate values will go up, um, you know, with inflation. So, you know, the best advice I can give you is don't get discouraged. Um, keep looking. I think, you know, there's going to be new construction this year. Um, I know because we're building, uh, you know, some of it. And, uh, you know, I think that more people are going to feel comfortable with, um, you know, coronavirus cases, hopefully going down as people get vaccinated, um, more people are going to be inclined to list their homes. And so I think that, um, you know, I, I want to ensure, I, I, I guess I want to, um, you know, instill, uh, you know, a little bit of a sense of security that, you know, I think that the market's going to do well. I think that uh, it's going to create some good opportunities to buy a home or to sell your home. And my team is here uh, to help you out with either um, myself, uh, Chelsea Frederick, Laura Horn. Um, we're here 24 seven to help you out. So feel free to give us a call. And uh, if nothing else, I'll catch you next week on Real Estate Talk. Have a great week.